Hello, my name is Michael McAuliffe, and today I am addressing the question, are Japanese-style enterprise unions effective vehicles of voice that align workers' interests with firm interests, or are they weak, company-dominated sham unions? Explain. When reading about the Japanese-style enterprise unions, I found a couple of facts that led me to conclude that they are, as in general speaking, weak. I don't know if I would go so far as to call them sham unions, because generally speaking, they could be effective. However, as a whole, the structure, I believe, is more susceptible to being company dominated, and here's why. White collar workers, who are potential future managers, are allowed to join these unions, and that could very possibly lead to a conflict of interests when they're trying to decide whether they should um, support blue-collar workers or if they should side with the company and the company's objectives in hope of possibly gaining favor with the company and or promotion to a management position. This is one of the reasons that the style union could become compromised with its effectiveness in representing the workers. Also, it should be noted that contract workers are not represented, which in itself means there is not full effective representation of the workers in a company. It opens a loophole where if the company is facing difficulties with the union, they could simply start replacing full-time employees with contract workers or, in an extreme case, go full contract worker force and avoid dealing with the legal power of unions altogether. I'd also point out that being company or enterprise specific, the laborers, the labor unions are much more localized and subsequently divided. Therefore, they're more susceptible to manipulation by the parenting enterprise. This could possibly be seen as a good thing in the case that there is not an abuse of management at said enterprise being that issues specific to that company could be more directly addressed with the corresponding policy being put in place. But if these companies were all so benign and with their management, then would there be such a direct need for unions in the first place? Thus, when looking at the evidence of all of this, I would conclude that Japanese-style enterprise unions are not as effective in the nature of their structure.